Hi Sam, my name is uh, Paul from Norway. Today I'm going to do some cooking. I'm going to make for i kor, which is uh, the national dish of Norway. So follow me today and I'll show you how to make this uh, recipe. But first I'm going to do some shopping. Fall has definitely come to Norway and so as the leaves change their color and the weather gets windy it also means that Fodikor season is here. This is also the time of the year when the cabbage is harvested fresh off the fields and the young sheep are taken down from the mountain farms and rounded up by the farmer. All for a purpose, to provide the main ingredients for making the popular Fodikor dish. This dish is simple but delicious. It may be hard to believe it's as good as it is, but in the cooking process the dish becomes greater than the sum of its parts. Some kind of magical alchemy happens as it simmers on the stove for hours. I'm back at my house and I'm in my kitchen and uh, I have a uh, cabbage, I have salt, black pepper corn and I have lamb's meat for the stew. The Norwegian word for cabbage is kor, but that's not just a word we use for describing in the vegetable, it's also a word that we use in some expressions in Norwegian and I'm going to teach you three of them. The first one is oyure korpo, which translates to to make cabbage off or to make cabbage soup off. And this one basically means uh, to end something, like for example, oyure korpo pengene dine, to end your money, to make cabbage soup off your money. But it can also mean um, to end someone, like to exterminate someone. That I cannot do. The second one is okukebut uh, i korn, which means uh, to cook away in the cabbage or in the cabbage um, soup. Now in, imagine that you have a group of people and uh, you have an aim for your conversation, but then there are one or more people in that conversation who are kind of uh, steering it off uh, course by talking about something else. And then afterwards you can say, oh, it just cooked away in the cabbage. Det i korn. So for us, the name of the game is budget reduction. Awesome Blossom. What? I think we should share an awesome Blossom. What do you say? They are awesome. And then the third one is Kårhode, which means uh, cabbage head. So let's say you know an idiot and you want to insult him or her, you can say Ditt Kårhode, which uh, is not a very nice thing to say in uh, Norwegian. Now start by peeling off the damaged outer layers. Give the cabbage a rinse. Cut off the outer part of the stem and cut the cabbage into two. The inside stem is especially important for keeping the cabbage leaves together. This has to do with presentation of the dish as you will see later. Now cut the cabbage into some wider and some more narrow wedges. Don't cut the cabbage like this, it will leave a lot of small pieces and the dish won't look as nice on the plate later on. The meat should be sliced lamb shoulder, neck or breast. Find meat that is on the bone and that has plenty of fat. This is what adds flavor to the stew. Now get out your biggest pot. You want to make a portion that lasts for at least two days. Actually, it tastes better on the second day when it had time to sit. I always use my biggest pot. Layer up the ingredients starting with meat in the bottom. Then a layer of cabbage. Then a layer of meat. Then a layer of cabbage. A layer of meat. And a final layer of cabbage. Add a good amount of salt and a couple of handfuls of black pepper corns. I first added about a liter of water. 
You really want to avoid too much water as it will make the stew tasteless. The cabbage will also release some liquids and it will all sink together as it cooks. Turn on pretty high heat and get the stew to a boil. When it starts to boil, I added a bit more water and turned down the heat. Now let the magic happen, have a sip of coffee and check on the foie decor after about 30 minutes. I add water now so that it is up to the upper layer of meat and cabbage. Press it all down to help it settle. Then read a book for about an hour. Things are starting to look good and no more water is needed. Let it simmer nicely and make sure it does not boil hard as it will make the meat tough. Play on your untuned guitar and after another 45 minutes go check on it. Whenever it is ready the meat will easily come off the bone like it does here. To get it even more tender let the foie decor stand 20 minutes more on low heat while you cook some potatoes. It smells so good. Now you see why you want that stem on the cabbage, which is fully edible, by the way. Water, red wine or a dark beer works nicely. I'm super excited now to have uh, my first photocore of uh, the year. Perhaps you feel inspired to make it yourself as well. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, press the like button and leave a comment. And um, there's only one thing to say. Skål! Thank <laughs> you.